Hey, Henry Kaiser here. I sure wish I could be there with all you fractal guitarists and fractal guitar fans, but my work occupation bans use of Zoom, so I can't use Zoom on my computer, so I cannot join you that way today. But here I am with a little pre-recorded message to tell you about why this is a fractal guitar and why I've been a fractal guitarist since at least 1977. Um, you know what fractals are? In mathematics, a fractal is a subset of Euclidean space with a fractal dimension that exceeds its topological dimension. Kind of it's bigger than it really is and smaller than it really is in the other direction. Another property of fractals is self-similarity. You zoom in like you zoom in or zoom out on the Mandelbrot set, like is happening behind me, and uh, you see self-similarity. It goes on forever bigger and smaller, both directions of scale. Self-similarity, expanding symmetry, uh, unfolding symmetry, we've called it a lot of things. Um, it applies to music. It sure does for me. I first read about fractals in Scientific American in my early days of playing guitar, probably 72, 73. I think there was something in Martin Gardner's column, and then I pursued it in the university library and journals and found out more about fractals. And I thought, this applies to music. You know, the same way that, say, Yanis Xenakis, the great Greek composer, applied mathematics and stochastic mathematics to music uh, and architecture. Um, Fractals applied to music for me. In 1977, a book came out called Fractals, Form, Chance, and Dimension, and it was written by a guy named Benoit Mandelbrot, who was born in 1924, and he died in 2010 at the age of 85, and he was the person who popularized and illuminated fractals for most non-mathematicians. He certainly did that for me when I read that book in 1977. When the book came out, he did a book tour. He spoke at the University of California at Berkeley, uh, where I was living at the time. And so I went to see him. And at the end of his really wonderful lecture, I took this guitar and I went up to him on stage and said, Mr. Mandelbrot, would you sign my guitar, please? And he said, no one's ever asked me to sign a guitar. It would be my great pleasure. So he signed this guitar, I'll, I'll show you. What, right here in the red is uh, Benoit Mandelbrot's signature. He's between B.B. King, Anthony Braxton, um, who else is there? Raymond Kane, Samuel R. Delaney, the science fiction writer. Um, he's in very good company. So that's why I am a fractal guitarist, maybe the first since uh, 1977, I got the Mandelbrot seal of approval here, and I'm very happy to be on this album, and uh, I'm very happy to have worked on a number of projects with uh, Stefan, and um, I wish I was there with you all and could interact more, but here's my contribution pre-recorded. Take care. Keep unfolding.